Hi, this is artist, entrepreneur, and art educator Eric McRae. I'm here in my studio in downtown Raleigh. I'm, um, I was working on some paintings for an upcoming exhibition I'm having at uh, Fine Art at Baxter's in New Bern, North Carolina. And I checked my Facebook Messenger and I see that I had a message from a uh, lady by the name of Cindy from Louisiana. And she asked a question about uh, craft artists or fine craft or arts and craft artists who have difficulty getting higher prices for their work and how they make the transition from people who went and on about their work and and buying the work and in some cases not buying but just tire kicking and then also uh, trying to get your work to a higher price point where you can get more for it and, and having given that thought um, the answer I would think is is uh, having depth and breath depth and breath depth and breath is um, a concept of having a certain kind of variety and range in your artwork and that's something that I have um, used in my business uh, in my career uh, my mother always said variety is the spice of life and I would say that would apply to you so uh, my suggestion would be to use the example of the grocery store or Walmart or any kind of uh, large uh, retailer and when you walk in there say example your grocery store they have uh, chewing gum and breath mints and little things under two dollars there for your kids to grab at and annoy you um, but the basis of that is for you to have an impulse buy where you look over and go, oh my goodness, I need that. And that adds to margin. Uh, the bottom line, those things don't cost a lot, but they can sell them for a few bucks and it helps the bottom line. And then in the back of the grocery store, you have your lobsters and your steaks and they're all lined up in your you know, Alaskan King Crab and you're paying so many dollars per pound uh, for these meats. And the idea is that there's something inexpensive and then there's something um, expensive. So let's say in the same category of meat, you might have some cheap hot dogs for a couple of bucks. And then you have uh, filet mignon uh, in the meat counter. And so there's an example of something inexpensive and expensive. Then the range would be, the breadth would be... Um, you have uh, you come in the grocery in the store and you're purchasing toilet paper, light bulbs, and motor oil. But at the same time, it's a grocery store, so obviously you have meat and vegetables and bread and so forth. So they've got a range of things to grab your dollars. So if you're a uh, person who's making inexpensive items, you need to have so many expensive items. Find some way to scale up what you do to have a more valuable version of that product. For example, if you're a ceramicist, now there's a place in North Carolina, um, I can't remember exactly, and these gentlemen make, uh, these artists make ceramic, they make pots five feet tall. Massive pots. They bring them in on a little forklift. And people uh, fight to get these things. They're gorgeous. Beautifully, beautiful stuff. Um, same with someone who makes glass. There's a little, little glass bobbles they may make that are cheap and inexpensive and a quick buy and then they have much more elaborate things they're trying to be uh, del chihuly and these big sculptural pieces so what i say to you is that in your booth if you're at these festivals have something uh where it's uh oh i can spend two dollars five dollars fifty dollars but then create something where you're saying oh this piece is a thousand dollars and not just because you're uh ambitious and just put an expensive price tag on it but it actually has to have the value of a thousand dollars somebody looks at it and goes oh my god i gotta have that look at it, it's amazing they must have put so much time in it even if you may not have put that much time in it it looks like it then as well if you're somebody doing 3d work uh let's make something 2d to hang on the wall i had a friend who's a really good uh 3d artist not the best painter but she had paintings and her paintings uh, uh people collected they will hang on the wall in her studio and uh, at her events and whatnot and her student her paintings uh, related to the sculptural pieces so they were uh, two-dimensional versions of her 3d work so think of it in that sense that you're producing 
you're producing a more high end, not necessarily high end, but you're making a different medium. So let's say if you did some watercolors or some uh, photographs, nice photographs of some of your 2D work, and I had them framed and put on the wall, and they would work as independent art pieces that are signed. So look, I'm giving you away tons of valuable ideas. So make sure you go to my uh, YouTube page and uh, uh, subscribe and also share this with all your friends because hey it's free so anyway back to uh, how to expand your business and get higher dollars is that you have to also brand yourself make someone think you're somebody important not just the, the person selling trinkets and junk and baubles and knickknacks but really you have a certain kind of panache and style where somebody says this is quality stuff at a reasonable price they feel like they're getting more than their money's worth and that's key to getting someone to invest their hard work, work uh, hard-earned dollars in you. Um, so I'm going to stop there. Uh, Cindy, I hope this helped. I hope this helped many of you out there. And um, uh, continue to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Eric McRae. And you can see me on Facebook at Eric McRae, excuse me, McRae Studios and also Eric McRae. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, so forth, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Google me, you'll see plenty of places where you can uh, see my content online and visit my website ericmcrae.com and you can actually order my original work there. And also keep in mind everyone should have a website. I know there's plenty of social media but you need a website, something you can control and that's the hub of all your social media. We'll talk about it in another video. So have a good, good one and keep the questions coming. Take care. Bye.